Bonjour à tous. Merci d'être ici. Merci aux les élèves de, de l'École catholique Saint-Jean-Paul II, à la Fondation Aucune pierre dans l'oubli, au général Vance, à, au ministre Sajan, à la secrétaire parlementaire Romanado, aux parlementaires et invités distingués, mais surtout à vous, distingués anciens combattants, soldats, invités, familles et amis. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes rassemblés ici, au cimetière Beachwood, pour rendre hommage à nos anciens combattants disparus. Nous déposons des coquelicots sur la tombe de Canadiens courageux en nous rappelant leur service et leur sacrifice. Among the many battles that have faced our brave soldiers over the years, today, specifically, I want us to think of the fathers and sons, brothers and friends who were lost at Passchendaele a hundred years ago. 16,000 Canadians killed or wounded. Thousands of Canadian families forever changed. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battle of Passchendaele was devastating for the Allies. And yet, It was a campaign that remains to this day, a major moment in the First World War, a moment very much worth remembering. It was an ongoing battle characterized by incremental gains and monumental losses. Historians see it as proof of reckless leadership reckless leadership that saw our soldiers subjected to the harshest of conditions and the horrors of a near impossible battle. A futile, demoralizing advance through mud, rain, flooded trenches, and an onslaught of shellfire. One veteran, Arthur Turner, characterized the Battle of Passchendaele as one of the muddiest and bloodiest of the First World War. Many Canadian battalions were hit by extreme loss. And still, we remember this battle with pride as we think of our brave soldiers who fought an impossible fight with perseverance, valor, and a commitment to a greater cause. Ce sont précisément ces qualités qui, au fil des ans, sont devenues caractéristiques des hommes et des femmes qui servent au sein des Forces armées canadiennes. Ils servent notre pays avec une intégrité sans pareil et ils nous représentent fièrement sur la scène mondiale. Les soldats canadiens, passés comme présents, défendent généreusement et depuis longtemps nos valeurs. Nous leur en sommes reconnaissants et nous sommes remplis d'admiration à leur égard. And just as our servicemen and women take care of us, so too was, must we take care of them. It is our sacred duty as a country to be there for our heroes when they need us most. And we will be there. This year, we've spent time celebrating the 150th anniversary of Confederation. It gives us reason to pause and reflect on some of our most important military milestones, successes, and failures. And in keeping the memories of battles like Passchendaele, Hill 70, Vimy, and Dieppe alive, we remind this generation and future generations where their freedom comes from. For it was not granted, it was earned, lest we forget.